And welcome back to Click Online. And now for a change of key. Ever thought you could sing? Well, obviously I can. But you should hear the rest of the Click team, especially when we have a karaoke night. Although not being able to sing hasn't stopped a number of well-known pop artists. So what are they doing to their voices? Well, as you'd expect, computers are involved somewhere. Typhon King has been looking at a new generation of software that could create a new generation of pop stars. Competition to hit the top of the music charts is tough. Many famous singers use whatever they can to gain an advantage. Cher's 1998 hit, Believe, caused a huge stir because it used an auto-tuning program to change her vocal pitch and create an unusual sound. My question, is computer software advanced enough to make a bad singer, and I mean a really bad singer, sound good? I'm going to be putting a new piece of software called Melodyne for its paces. This is Wise Guy Studios in London. Here, I'll be professionally recording a well-known song, George Michael's 1980s hit, Faith. Warren Bassett is the music maestro facing the challenge of improving my singing. And, to judge the results, a r supremo Mark Fox. As the man who discovered the Spice Girls, he's only too aware of how useful technology can be. Well, the software is becoming more and more important as, as, a, as a valuable tool and sometimes as a lifesaver for quite a lot of artists. To give Melodyne a fair chance to work its magic, I asked professional singer Samantha Murray to perform an unpolished version of an old Blondie song. Samantha is not the biggest fan of voice-altering software. Really, I think it's a bit of a waste of time because there are singers out there who can actually sing, so why not find them and, you know, do it properly? And when we talk... So this is Samantha singing without any correction. I'm so in love with you. We looked at some of the features offered by Melodyne. Here, you can see a representation of Samantha's vocals and the actual notes she's singing and how long they go on for. Down the left-hand side, we can see all the notes in the scale. The blue boxes in the background show where the pitch should be for the melody in question to be in tune. It's straightforward then to correct intonation. We just snap the note that was sung flat onto its proper pitch with a double click. And the tuning is much better. I'm so in love with you. The software enables us to either exaggerate the vibrato or minimize it. The note down here, you can see she's got vibrato. If we just play it through, we can listen to it. You can hear the wobble of the note. If I actually extend that out, I can get even more vibrato. And harmonies can also be added to vocals by highlighting and copying the notes and pasting them low down the scale. What does Mark Fox make of the job the software has done on Samantha's singing? Uh, she doesn't sound as if breathy and a bit panicky. It sounds much more sort of confident. And I also think that um, there was a couple. I think I think the second, second or third lines of it, there was a, there was a couple of really horrible tuning moments. Yeah, yeah. But they've been ironed out. Often with this with this equipment, that you you feel as though it's been strangled. The, the life has been strangled out of it, and it sounds a bit yeah, but yeah. Deep, deep. And that's, that isn't there, so it's much more human yeah. sound, I think. So you still get the breath and the fragility. Next up, me. Cause I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Baby! So Warren, how was that? So, can a piece of software rescue a disaster and send it to the top of the pops? Time to find out. There's kind of body like you. So, I'm, I'm, I'm faintly pleased to see that um, the individuality we talked about with the proper singer re is retained. And unfortunately, the same applies to you. The, the, the idiosyncrasies and the, 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 the innovative way you take the address George Michael's classic <laughs> is there for all to hear still. So. I think we must be very careful to then not hope it's going to be a, a, a lifesaver or a panacea for all, for all vocalists, because it isn't. You still have to have a natural ability and a natural vocal talent. And it's not going to save somebody that can't. All is not quite lost, though. 
record company Fat Fox are based at Wise Guy Studios and specialize in signing new talent from naturally gifted singers to maybe even those with a unique sense of tuning. And who knows, a deal might yet be in the offing. A deal of fun, Typhon, indeed. But I think the correct showbiz expression is, don't call us, we'll call you. Anyway, keep the reporting going, just in case. Now it's time for our very own click songbird, Kate Russell, keeping it real with her pick of the web this week. <laughs> 